All right, everyone, before I put you over to the Malwarebytes anti-malware removal video, I just wanna make a quick little announcement. In the next couple days, there's gonna be an update video in regards to where this channel is gonna be headed, seeing I've reached a thousand, over a thousand subscribers now. Um, first of all, I just wanna say thank you guys to um, for helping me get to that point, and I hope you guys enjoy some of the changes I'm gonna make. Don't fear. None of the content that you see on this channel right now is going to be leaving. I'm still going to be doing anti-malware reviews. I'm just hoping to introduce some more content that will uh, attract a larger audience and also make your guys' experiences more interactive in the sense of you choosing what you want to see on this channel. So that's all I'm going to say right now. Um, the next video I have will be an in-depth video on where this channel is going to go. So I've been almost babbling for a minute. Enjoy the part two of Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Welcome everyone to another review, or as I should say, the continuation of the Malwarebytes Anti-Malware removal test. Um, first off, I wanna say I'm gonna be changing these tests around a little bit. I know this is brand new, the removal tests. Um, we're not gonna be doing the two-parters anymore for the removal test. It's just gonna be this virtual machine right here you see, which is royally screwed up with malware right now. Um, so yeah, uh, giving you a quick tour on how screwed up this virtual machine is. Well, let me show you. We'll click on Internet Explorer because that's naturally where people would go to try and figure out how royally screwed they are and how to get themselves out of this situation before the wife comes home and finds out that they screwed up the computer again. So, as you can see, we open up Internet Explorer. Our home page has been changed. Well, not quite. Actually, believe it or not, the home page is still the same as it was before, google.com. If we go to Internet Options, you will see that, yep, there it is, google.com. Well, you're probably thinking, how is it How is it bringing you to this site then? That's not your homepage. Well, that's the thing. If you go to the Internet Explorer we clicked on right here, you can see that this is not your average Internet Explorer. Well, you'd be wrong again. This is actually Internet Explorer, but in front of it here, we have an appended address. And essentially what that's doing is it's telling Internet Explorer, ignore everything else and go to this. And to demonstrate that to you, I'll go to this Internet Explorer right over here, which is, has no appendage whatsoever, and you will notice that it brings me right to Google. And if you want to see how easy it is to change, well, it's as easy as just editing some text in front of it. And to show you that, let me just do this, and we'll type in HTTP, and we'll go to yahoo.com. If I can type tonight, holy crap. All right, so we're going to yahoo.com. Click OK, click on Internet Explorer, and you will notice it'll bring us right to Yahoo. No problems whatsoever. Even our homepage is still set to Google. So the reason malware does this is it's a way to try and circumvent malware cleanup tools in the sense of them just resetting your homepage back to the way it was because the homepage is not the problem here. It's the appendage. So the appended address, I should say. So I'm just going to get rid of that. So we go back to Google. Oops, my parenthesis back there. All right, so how royally screwed up is this system? <laughs> well, just getting started. Now, earlier task manager was working and I should say it wasn't working, but now it seems to be working for some weird reason. And this lovely thing just popped up here. So um, with that said, this opens up a whole new door of opportunities. Obviously you could just try to go in here and kill some of the malware off and yada, 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 you know the drill. So let's try this command prompt, see if that works. Yes, command prompt works, so that's interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can get to msconfig. Can we get to msconfig? Oh, we can now, wow. They have just completely unlocked the system for me. That is nice. So you can obviously see all this malware that is designated to run at startup. Um, can we get to Hitman Pro? Oh, shoot, we can't get to Hitman Pro. All right, so as you can see here, we're getting an error message, and this is most likely being caused by malware. Obviously, it's being caused by malware. I shouldn't say most likely. Stupid. Um, so yeah, that's malware causing these applications to not run. As you can see, we have our kill right here, which you're thinking, well, that should take care of it. Well, not right, not, re not really. Um, I even tried re-downloading it to see if it was possibly altered by the malware somehow. Still nothing. Um, tried repairing the extensions using kill switch when it was working as you can see it's completely shot now the malware has destroyed it beyond recognition um and we got this little wi-fi dealy thing that's in the corner here 
Uh, what else? What else? What else? I think that's pretty much it. And like I said, Task Manager wasn't working earlier, but now it seems to be working. But that'll probably change later on once the ransomware decides to kick in and really screw up the machine again. Malwarebytes, I assume Malwarebytes isn't going to work. Um, I did try Chameleon earlier. Let's see if Chameleon is going to work this time. Because it failed the last time. So let's go to Tools and we're going to try Chameleon. Now I tried this earlier and all the tests failed. And the way I got around it is essentially I reinstalled Malwarebytes on the system and it worked perfectly fine. So we'll have to see if we may have to do that. We may have to do that again in order to get Malwarebytes to work, but maybe it'll work this time. I'm doubting it. I don't think it's gonna work just because I think the malware has altered some of the files that Malwarebytes needs to run and it's not gonna run. But we will see now. Hopefully it's gonna actually load. It looks like it might actually be doing some. Oh, no, it failed to update. So um, most likely it's going to completely fail. Um, yeah, I've seen this message. If it fails to update, it pretty much just fails completely. So don't know if I can close out of this. No, I don't think, why would I be able to close out of it? Because the malware will be able to close out of it, right? <laughs> so we'll just have to sit by here and um, wait. Um, It'll be good. If you, yeah, I guess you guys probably want to see what it's going to find in the system here. Because it does actually kill a lot in the way of malware, which is really cool. But I think that might be what's breaking my task manager. And in a sense, causing more issues with the system. But I suppose you could actually probably use combo fix. Um, to repair a lot of this stuff. I've used that in the past and that really does a bang up job actually at fixing the damage done by malware. As you can see, it's definitely killing a lot in the way of malware on this system, but it still has not been able to launch Malwarebytes. So we will see after it kills this, if it's able to launch the program. Uh, failed to start scan, removing protection driver. So as you can see, it failed to start it, but now we have all this malware that's been killed. And can we get to task manager or is it going to be dead now? Oh wow, it's still there. Interesting. That is really interesting. <laughs> Honestly guys, it was not working like at all tonight. So let's go to malwarebytesherorg Malwarebytes, maybe, no not malware tips. Okay. Oh, seriously? This is just, this is like adware. Oh, wait, hold on. We just lost task manager. Yep, and it begins. So, that's what I thought was going to happen. Let's try and go there now. There we go. Okay, so let's download Malwarebytes onto our system. And it'll work then. Because the malware has completely screwed it over. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'll show you that command prompt is now jacked up too. Yeah, so there you go. So malware has completely screwed the system over because when we killed it, malware bytes, um, when malware bytes killed it, it most likely respawned after which everything was closed out. So um, where did my malware bytes? There it is. So I'll stick that down there. We're gonna run it like normal, like the normal user would. And we're gonna go ahead and run the installation yada yada you've been through this how many times just run everything at default and we're gonna go ahead and launch Malwarebytes to see if we can launch it without chameleon probably not we can't launch task manager well, I guess task manager is a popular process which is why a lot of malware blocks it but it looks like it's not going to work so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do the same thing we did last time, which is go over to our lovely chameleon test, and we're going to have to pray that this works. So, as you can see, it's going to try to run it again. And you can see Malwarebytes now has loaded. So, chameleon was able to get it loaded. It's now updating Malwarebytes. Now it's going to go through its whole spiel here of killing any malware processes. It's pretty much already killed them, but for the sake of the video, I will go ahead and let you guys see, because um, it goes pretty quick here, at least the uh, command prompt 
what it's going to kill if it does kill anything. Once the scan starts to work, obviously, pause the video because don't want to completely bore you guys. So it looks like it's going ahead to scan a whole bunch of stuff here. Now I still haven't figured out if it's actually terminating these processes right here, um, or if it's just basically identifying them, or if they're maybe these are just oh I bet these are just potential unwanted programs. That's why they're listed in white. Because I'm gonna say that's a rogue right there. That's just a link to it, I think. Because I know, as you see, if you've seen earlier, the um, red processes are actual, like malware, trojans, viruses, worms. Um, that's that's serious malware right now. Not to say that adware is not malware, because in my mind it is. You can see what it's doing to the system right now. Even though, you know, obviously the stuff that's blocking the task manager is not adware related. That is more trojan based right there. That's more, I should say, characteristic of trojans. So I don't think it's gonna take this long. All right, so there we go. It's starting to scan now. Once the scan is complete, guys, I will be back. All right, everyone, so the scan has finished here, and holy crap. There are over, th there are <laughs> 344 identified threats on this system. Wow. Um, that's all I have to say right now is I did not think the system was gonna be that infected. If we scroll through here though, you can see we pretty much have everything, everything that you can think of malware-wise on this system. Well, a lot of potential on programs there. We have rogues, we have trojans, I see more rogues, uh, password stealers, everything. So, um, with that said, we're gonna do what any sane person would do in this situation after they completely freak out is remove the selected items so we're gonna go do that and I, here I wish that they would have some sort of like progress bar or something to tell you that it's actually working because I think here when the first saw this too I thought is it even working you know to me it seemed like it wasn't doing anything but obviously my hard drive is going completely crazy right now so yeah it's doing something so, and there it finally starts showing you that it's doing something. So, yeah, I just think maybe something like some little swirly arrows or something pretty to look like it's doing something would be nice. So, all right, um, log file's been saved. We're going to go ahead and restart the system to complete the removal process. Should reboot fairly quickly considering that it's already closed most of the processes out. But maybe it won't. I know last time it kind of hung for a little bit. And it looks like it's finally going to start restarting. So with that said, once the computer is rebooted, um, we'll be back with the Hitman Pro results if I can get Hitman Pro to work. Um, and then we will see the results and try the usability of the system and see if it's been cleaned up or how well it's been cleaned up. So I'll be back. All right, everyone, so it looks like the scan has almost finished here, but as you can see down here, there's still a lot of shit that needs to be scanned in the queue, and I'm not going to watch that go all night long because, well, this is just all stuff from this MaxCrypt ransomware that was requiring $200 to unlock my system. So we're just going to go ahead and end the test here and take a look at what it's found. Well. We got riskware, we got viruses, we got trojans, we got malware. Oh my. The list keeps going and going and going. So, with that said, and it, oh, it looks like my internet's back. I might not have been uploading stuff. Oh, no, it was. Never mind. Anyways, so final verdict or summarization of malware bytes as a removal tool. You guys are gonna hate me for this, um, but I really can't recommend it. And I know I run Malwarebytes on my system, and I know a lot of you guys run Malwarebytes, and a lot of people swear by it, which is kind of why I'm 
afraid to say that I really can't recommend it because I know how many people really stand by it and are loyal to Malwarebytes. Hell, I'm one of those people right there. I was really loyal to Malwarebytes and I still am loyal to Malwarebytes. I think they're a great company. I just think that they need to really step up their game in detection. I mean, they used to be really, really, really good. I started using Malwarebytes back in version one, but I've received some comments of people saying that, you know, this version two, you know, ever since 2.0 was released, it really has gone downhill. And I have to agree with that, guys. I really do. Um, after seeing these results, it really has gone downhill. Um, and I hope someone at Malwarebytes sees this. And, and I'm not trying to be mean to you guys. You, you guys do have a great company, but use this video and use it to make your product better. That's all I have to say. I'm not trying to bash your product at all, and I don't try to bash any antivirus or any anti-malware solution. Use it to make your product better. Just like when anybody comments on my channel saying I did this wrong or I can't believe you didn't do this, I try to use that as incentive to make my channel better, and then I try to go and improve on it. Just like a software program. You know, you guys tell me what you want to see, and then I do my best to fulfill your requests. You know, this. This channel is for you guys, the fans. So, but that's a different video. Getting back to Malwarebytes, it performed poorly. I can't recommend it um, as a standalone tool. Bottom line, standalone tool, can't recommend it. Run alongside something. You know, it's it's a decent little application. They do have, they do a good job at, at detecting things. So that's going to be it, guys, for this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I missed anything. Remember to like the video. Um, comment on it, share, subscribe, let everyone know. Um, appreciate all you guys and um, all the feedback you give me. So until next video, see you guys later.